Phil held the rights to the Cisco kid. And Interstate Bakeries, which Weber's brought, I guess it's still around. I don't do much shopping anymore, but uh, Weber's bread was interested in buying something like the for Western 14, 15, 16, 17 states. But they were only going to pay approximately 50 to 60 percent of the production cost, which in those days was going to be $8,000 per half hour. Phil, t in talking to Fred, said, you know, I need somebody to sell the rest of the United States so we can get enough money to produce this show. It's no different than somebody saying, you know, look, I have a half a million dollars. I need another half a million dollar advance from foreign to make a small picture. So that's how they came together. Fred had the radio sales force, and he said, you can get these guys to sell it to some of these television stations that are starting up. So that's how they started the production, and that's how they paid for it. And unfortunately, the first episodes, instead of costing $8,000, if you can imagine, they cost nine or $10,000, and Fred Ziv and John Sin went crazy, and they were all upset because that meant they were $52,000. I don't know. In event, the point is that it was, a, it was a kind of a combination syndication deal, something that we, you know, barter kind of arrangement. Um, Weber's Bread got the right to just put this in any television station they could put it on in their territory. The rest of the territories and foreign were sold by uh, Fred, Fred Ziv. And he started as an individual. He had an individual company for that, Cisco Kid Pictures, Inc. That was all run separate and apart. 